Thanks for clicking. I'm Hideaki or J in short, a Japanese guy mainly into this in popular foods in Japan and those cooking recipes. This time a bit different though. In this video, my variation of hibachi steak will be introduced. In Japan, the name hibachi steak is hardly known, so this must be American food, I think. Well, the menu looks awesome anyway, so it made me wanting to make the food. I've never been in the US, but uh, in my understanding, it is cube cut steak seasoned with soy sauce served with garlic taste based fried rice. If I got it wrong, please let me know through the comments and it will be appreciated. So, this video shows something like if the food is rearranged by Japanese or me, how would it be? So, with my nickname J, the J style hibachi from Tokyo, I would say. Let's prepare the ingredients, and here's a list of items I used. First, onions. This time I used onion in two different rolls. One is for fried rice, and another is for steak sauce. So a quarter of the onion is minced, and another quarter is grated. Next is garlic. I used also garlic in some separate ways. One or a few cloves for each. Sliced one, minced one, and grated one are prepared. I use the mushrooms for the fried rice. Simply slicing like this is fine. Parsley is an important ingredient this time. Flesh parsley to be minced. This is the key flavor to ensure the taste of pro rebel. For the steak meat, I bought shoulder meat since it was available in a reasonable price at the time. Please use salt and pepper to season slightly in advance. Once the instant soup for chicken consomme is prepared in the bowl, claps are done. Now let's cook. I cook using two pans at the same time, but if it's difficult, the steak should be dealt with first, and then its sauce and fried rice should be the last. Please get two pans both oiled. First, uh, fry sliced garlic on somewhere between middle to long heat. This pan is being used for making fried rice. On another pan, start cooking steak meats on also middle to long heat. As you can see, steak meat hasn't been cut yet at this point. This is my opinion that the hibachi steak one not. Whenever the beef steak is cooked, you want to ensure the ideal heated condition, so the cube cut should be made after making that ideal steak first. Flip the side of the steak meat at the right timing. Now the garlic slice became ideally brown, then remove the garlic and this will be used as chips for the topping later. Using the remaining oil in the pan, minced garlic and mushrooms are stir fried on middle heat for a while. Also, salt and pepper are little at this point. So for now, look at the steak again. The side has been flipped, add batter, and baste it for a while. It's called a rosa technique in French style cooking. Meanwhile, in another pan, add minced onion. The steak meat is now removed from the pan there. The pan used for steak has the remaining oils and butter, so using these, a steak sauce will be made. First, add grated garlic and fry it for a while. While doing that, proceed to cook fried rice. Add rice and stir fry it for a while on middle heat. For the sauce, add mirin and shoyu and simmer it for a while. This makes all the good flavors stick into the pan's surface, dissolve, and get mixed well. On the other hand, for rice, season with salt and pepper suitably here. closely and mix well. Then add the 
the soup. The rice had been cooked in a slightly hotter condition than normal for calculating the soup used at this point. Stir fry until the water is simply warm and look like this. I shape the rice like that and uh, spread some leaves to have some green color on the plate. The fire has been turned off already. Add grated onion. Add lemon juice for a bit. And also add a slight amount of balsamic vinegar. Mix well and the sauce is done. If you don't have balsamic vinegar, then increase the amount of lemon juice a little. I recommend not using the usual vinegar for this. Please cut the steak into cube sizes and then put it on a plate. I remove the unnecessary fat at this point. So basically, it's not cube cut steak to be cooked. It should be a well made steak to be cut into cubes. This is what I want to emphasize as a cooking tip. Then, well, it can be optional, but I go with fried egg, so I'm making it. Put the fried egg on the top of the rice, and it looks wonderful with a fried egg, right? Pour the sauce only on meat or some vacant place on a plate. This sauce is basically the one called steak shoyu, and it is the most common and popular sauce for beef steak in Japan. And this is my variation of it using mirin and uh, balsamic vinegar. Then put some garlic chips and uh, fresh parsley. Optionally, you can use black pepper as well. And it's complete. So for this J-style hibachi of mine, the differences can be defined as having the steak shoyu to be used, and the rice is basically a super time shortcut version of garlic pilaf, and the fried egg is on it. Please try, this is irresistible. Thanks for watching.